This is going to be a follow-up video on my dosing pump I'm using, a chlorine dosing pump, where I have a <coughs> chlorine supply here there, and it's uh, this pump is automatically coming on with my home automation system, and it's dosing my jacuzzi. And this is just a follow-up on the pump here. So I've got the pump scribed right there, and so I can just keep it the same pump has silicon um, which seems to be weathered very well and this stuff here is Tigon and the thing that I'm running into here is that the Tigon it's five months into it I've been running it every day for about a minute and 30 seconds and this pump has a problem with this head coming off and I just put a tie wrap around it and that seems to fix that problem I had a problem, you know, for, for the first months, this, this head kept on popping off. Now it doesn't come off anymore. It's happy. And you just put the Tigon sleeving on that. But this Tigon, what I was doing is um, I was putting it in the jacuzzi. I'm just kind of having it, you know, kind of go in the jacuzzi like here. And it, I guess just the water makes it super rigid and brittle and it just kind of breaks off. So it's just constantly breaking off like, like pieces of spaghetti. And then the other issue would be um, the part that's not exposed to the sun, like the part like that lives underneath this cover is just fine. But then, you know, the parts that are in the sun... Um, they're just, a, they feel a little rigid, right? But, um, so anyway, this Tigon stuff, I'll show you what the situation is. Um, so the pump, here's the pump information. Right now you can get it for sixteen eighty. It was for 12 bucks. I got two pumps. And then the Tigon, um, I was getting from, um, getting from eBay. And there's the dimensions on that. And so the only issue with the pump is, uh, basically the head um, and everything else about the pump seems to work pretty well after five months. I have another video on this if you're interested in watching the details. See this thing pump. Alexa, add chlorine to the jacuzzi. Okay. So you can see the lights going on here and um, it's adding a specific dose to the jacuzzi. You can see the starting to flow through here you can see it vibrating down there and um, I'm just priming it right now so I'm guessing what be the solution would be if they, they may they have this marine grade split loom that you can that you could get and then you could then you could easily just put this Tigon inside the split loom and I think that might be the way to do it so the Tigon would easily slide through the split loom but then you would get the UV protection of the Tigon and then you probably wouldn't get the UV um, failure mode basically get um, a Tigon hose that will fit over this hose or buy a coupler um, that, that so I could readily just couple the um, the hose. Uh, just constantly be replacing ends every six months or so. I'd be interested to know what you all think about what I could use, um, but maybe you can give me comments and then I can learn from your experience. But that's kind of where the direction I'm headed right now.